Hi everyone, I'm going to work on this project from the beginning. So let's navigate to start.spring.io and get the starter template. I'm going to keep all the settings as it is. I'll just change the name of the project to authentication and we'll need to add some dependencies the first would be web and jpa and we'll also need h2 database let's generate the project let me extract it Let's open this project in Intel IJ. Okay, so our project is set up. Let's go to the main file. So we need to configure our H2 database first. So we'll go to application.properties. Let's first enable our H2 console. Let's define a path for our H2. Now we need to define the URL of data source. I'm going to name our database as Spring Boot Let's define the driver class h 2 dot driver Let's define name and password for the console okay so that was all we needed to set our h2 console now let's let's run this project first just to see if we have any errors so it's it's working fine now let's create one package for our entities and another one for for the repositories which is going to have all the interfaces of the tables which are called entities in Java now let's create our first table users table which is going to have three fields username password and a primary key so I've just annotated it with entity and I've given the same name let's define the ID Let's define the username column. This username column has to be unique and 
it can't be null so we are going to define all those parameters in add column annotation now let's create a password and we will remove the unique parameter and we will also add one more field which is confirm password and this this field is going to be used only for front end so to avoid inserting it to the database we are going to use add transient annotation and json property for the front end so let's generate the getters and setters define a repo for this entity and I'm going to name it user repository to have one method here that would be find by username it's going to take a parameter string of username and that's it Let's, let's run this project first and it's compiled successfully now let's go to our h2 console let me log in so the, f the first row as you can see that's our users table and there are only three fields ID password and username so there is no confirm password because we had used transient annotation to avoid inserting it into the database and to fetch that field in our front end we have used JSON property now I'm going to end this video here if you still have doubts follow my next video where I'm going to show you the use of risk controllers and DTOs and we'll be using the entity that we have created today so the concept will be more clear thank you so much for watching have a great day